Hi guys, Dan Hendrickson here. We're at Tavistock Golf Club. Been out playing a course vlog this week and I thought I would do a quick what's in the bag with our special guest for the week, James Pickard. Now James, professional golfer, I thought most of you have seen him now through the course vlog. I thought it'd be a good idea to have a little look at what he's carrying in his golf bag and why he's using the clubs he's using. Let's go meet up with James. James. Daniel. How are you? Very good. How are you doing? Good, good, mate. Good, good man. Good. Nice to see you again. Yeah, you too. Right, you we're going to do a little what's in the bag with you today. Yes. All right. So uh, I want you to share with us maybe some of the little stories of why you've got these clubs in the bag. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, let's dig straight in. Okay, we? which so end do you want to start? start? We'll start with the wedges. Wedges. Okay. I have, I've recently changed, so I've got, let's get them out of the way. Yeah. Uh, 50, 58 and a 54 okay. tailor-made. Yeah. Um, high toe. High toe with the 58 and 54. Yeah. And then just a normal, the mill grind too. Okay. In any particular bounce? Any uh, options of bounces you got? That's the ATV. Yeah, okay. So that's uh, whatever that is, all-terrain. Yeah, so you sort of versatile. Versatile. versatile, versatile or whatever blah, blah, blah. Is. Yeah. Uh, 10 degrees bounce in that. Yeah. And then whatever that one was i literally bought these just nine the bounce shot. in that one there, nine bounce in that yeah and you bought those out the shot and then what shafts have you got in there uh, just the bog standard whatever they came literally KBS. i didn't bother fitting myself for these no okay so, kbs how stuff. things have changed James. yes you did like a good old fitting didn't you yeah i used to yeah i used to tinker <laughs> quite a lot but you carry then a, a 46 degree 46 wedge. now that is one of the i regret that Regret putting it in, or yeah, regret? I regret getting the 46 with the set rather okay. than a, rather than a wedge with the blades. Right, uh, I just think it's a little bit too spinny. Oh, I see what you mean. So you wish that you'd kind of had the set wedge, yeah, rather yeah, exactly. than going yeah, into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And, and is that because well, you say they're spinny, but I mean, is it because obviously there's a feel factor with it as well? Is Potentially, it? yeah, I, I would say so. I actually kind of prefer the look of the of these than the wedges as well. Okay. Um, and then what what have you actually got so that's a 46 that's 10 a 46 10, 10 bounce. F. yeah yeah and then you move into the irons then and yeah so I've got, all, I've got nothing. all mbs basically from five five to nine iron i've got any mbs okay so these are the seven one eight seven one eight yeah yeah so they're only what two years two old years now? old something like that yeah bear in mind i haven't played for probably six or seven months at that time yeah okay uh for reasons we'll get on to later yeah uh, they're pretty new to me what I've done with these as well is I've kind of bent them to distances that I want them to go. So okay, I'm, so yeah. that, let's say the standard is a 35 degree 7, seven iron. iron. What have you kind Probably of Probably a about a 32, 32 and a half. Okay, so you've made so them I've a gone little stronger. bit stronger. Is that because you're quite a spinny player? Yeah, and I also hit the ball quite high anyway, right. so I can afford to lose a bit of the loft on it. Um, but I've made the gaps just how I want them really. By making them stronger, have you noticed that they've gone a little bit, maybe a fraction more offset? They have, yeah, but yeah. then I think a lot of that's kind of the mental side of it. I don't find that I You're not too much of an No, I'm not, I don't really fuss what they look like. Oh, I lose a plot with a bit of offset. Oh, really? I do, yeah. <laughs> So you go then, um, what looks like nine iron up to five iron. That's like five to nine, said. yeah. Shafts in those? Uh, these have got the Modus, NS Pro yeah. Modus yeah, okay. Tor 130X. Right, so extra stiff. Yeah, I think they're kind of, they're going to be like really, really stiff, those ones, but right. I just quite like the feel of them. I've, already, I've had them for the last kind of three sets that I've had. Have you? So you've yeah. kind of found a shaft that you like and you stick with it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool, because I, I do the same. I've had a Project X in my irons for years and years. Yeah and found it really hard to move away from it. Once you found something you like, it's kind of nice to stick yeah, with Yeah, yeah, it's it? nice. If they feel nice and it, and it works for you, then... Stick with it. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely right. And then you've got then a four iron and in the TMB. TMB and Again, the two iron. Again, 718. Yeah. And the same in the two iron, yeah. 718. Yeah. Um, same shaft? Yeah, same shaft. What grips no have difference. you got running through those clubs? Are they all a bit of a mixture? Or uh, no, all the irons, all my kind of, the, the two iron to the nine, uh, to the 46, I've actually yeah. got the MCC plus fours. Okay. Then my wedges, we've all got different oh, shafts, different proper, grips. That would probably do your head mix. in as well, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'm not sure I could cope with that too well, but you're yeah. all right with it. You're all right. I don't you're care. You're handling it well. I don't care. <laughs> okay, then, what's under these head covers then? Um, into the armory. Yes. Flash, the epic Flash Sub-Zero. 
Okay, yeah. That's 13 and a half and I've got it down to 12 and a half. Oh wow, that's a proper bomber's three wood. Yeah, I, again, I hit this quite high as well, so it's, yeah. it's nice, it's good off the deck, it's nice off the tee. Okay. So I quite like that. And shaft you got in that? Uh, that is a hazardous 6.5, hazardous yellow. Yeah, that's a 76 gram 6.5, yeah. so quite, quite stiff that, isn't it? Yeah. Quite rigid. It is, yeah, it is. I okay. like the feeling of that. Yeah, and again, you've had that for a little while, that shaft, or is that something you've kind of just worked I into with that head? It was the only one that I like with the head, so okay. I just kind of, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do, yeah. And then, and then this is a new per, new old purchase. So, tailor-made M2. Eight and a half degree set at six and a half. Six and a half? I didn't know they made six and a half anymore. Well, they... Uh, just gone lower? Yeah, just low as possible. Wow. And this is, this is the great thing. Yeah. It's just got the bog standard stiff shaft in it. So you go like extra stiff through the bag. And then I've got a stiff in the driver. Well, so I, I go stiff through the bag. Yeah. I've got an extra stiff in my five wood and then I've got a regular in my driver. Yeah. It's feel, it isn't works. it? It's completely feel. No, I, I did have, I had the, like the yellow, but the, like the completely yellow shaft. I remember that, the handcrafted Yeah, one. yeah, I had the handcrafted. That was a 6.5X, but in the Rogue. Wow. And I was all over the place with it. Were you? Um, yeah, lately. So I borrowed Farley's one of these and hit it really nice. So, I so just you nipped on eBay and nipped picked on yourself, eBay and picked, picked one up. up. And you picked it up in that that setup, that spec yeah, and everything. Yeah, I actually bought a shaft to go with it. Yeah. Absolutely hate it. So that's gone. So the the bog standard stiff's gone in there. It doesn't spin much. I'm getting about one eight on it. Yeah. It's quite nice if I'm okay. hitting it right. And little little touches like that head cover that you've got down yeah. there with your driver. That's one of my favourites. Like, I'm a big fan of having, there's just some special things that you need in your life, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, and that's that's one of the, I actually, that that was, we've done the pro there, obviously. Yeah, we did, yeah. Well, I went and played there with Buzzer as well. Oh, and did you? Uh, picked that up at that time. Yeah. It's just a fantastic golf course, isn't it? It's brilliant. And, and I think something like that just brings back nice little memories, doesn't it? Yeah. Of, of events that you've Yeah, I playing. quite enjoy that. And then the three wood, is that, are you are you a Tottenham fan? Because there's a lot uh, of no. Tottenham colour going No, on it there. was only to match that. Oh, it's a blend? It, yeah. Okay. Little mix match. Like no, it. Like no, it. I don't do football. No, you don't. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. So what else is, oh, cool. we need to have a little look at putter. Yeah. We need to have a little look at the putter. So this, is, this, this is in the bag. You were quite a big one for, um, Fit putter fittings, weren't you? I, I mean, was, I yeah. came to you for a, a lesson once, yeah. remember? Yeah, yeah, On yeah, my, yeah. Uh, you had the Sam Putt Lab yeah. over at Honiton when, when you were over there. So what have you got in there? Well, this is still, I've got my Edel that I got fitted for probably four years ago, three years ago. Yeah. So I've still got that, okay. but I chop and change. So Farley's actually got my other putter as well. You be careful with that. You'll... Yeah, I will be asking for it back. But, so this is the one I'm using at the moment. Yeah. It kind of does the job. Okay. And it, I know that kind of it was fit for me so I was you know yeah. a bit of confidence head with it. cover what's head that cover one it's a bottle of beer they sent that to me very nicely it's a nice touch yeah. isn't it it's yeah I was like a nice snazzy putter head yeah cover I quite like that. them yeah 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 absolutely and then super stroke grip on it super stroke grip and that's what a 2.0 2. Oh, yeah. yeah okay so and again you talk about the grips though you, are you uh, slightly thicker in your grips or you go standard or has standard it you... standard yeah so yeah. no extra layers of tape or anything no. like that no okay Golf ball. What golf ball do you use? Do you I know? I have. Got, I do know. Yeah. <laughs> TP5s. Okay, tailor made TP5, and again fitted for that ball. Is that something you? No, kind of... I actually kind of with the irons and everything. I got fit for the Titleist Pro V. Yeah. Standard Pro V. Yeah. Um, but I always find like into wind, I tend to overspin it quite a lot, and I find that goes a little bit better through the wind. Okay. So it just works well for it, you and you like it the feel of nice. it around the yeah, greens yeah, yeah, exactly. and things like that. You can get yeah. the spin that you want and, and puts the, nicely. Funny little things like the dimple design. I quite like the dimple design on it, yeah. you know, so yeah. I've not spent much time using those balls to be fair, so I don't oh, know much I about like, them. I'm but, yeah. a bit of a fan of them to be honest. And then do you have a range finder in this golf bag? I, somewhere, I hope. Yes. Yes. So what have you got there? Golf buddy. Oh, golf buddy, yeah. yeah. Okay. Really not, smart little thing. Not the most expensive, are they? No. They actually, like, they sent me that one when I was, I did my um, channel before. Right, okay. And absolutely love that. Yeah. It's, it's got slope on it or anything no, like that? It's just no, just standard. No. I like to work things out myself sometimes. Yeah, so get I'd, a bit of know. feel and stuff yeah. like that in the game. So, nice bog standard, but works well. And it's about, I always find there's about a yard difference between that and a bushnel. Okay. What, actual longer or shorter? 
This show's longer, I think. Does it? Okay. Yeah, I think so. And do you counteract that, or are you just going with it? I go with this. Yeah. So, I, so I fit myself on this, yeah. or on like I get my distances on GC2 or whatever, and yeah. then just transfer it to that. And then last but not least, golf bags. So you've got a Titleist uh, little pencil bag yeah, there. Is I've that is that just because of today, or have you got a few bags? I've, that you I've use? got so many. Yeah. I've got so many golf bags at home. I think my wife like kicks off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, like, Too many toys. Exactly, but. At the moment, I'm using this because I'm quite enjoying carrying and I find it's better for my back to carry. Yeah. So, that, right. that's my setup. We're going to go and play golf now. Yes. Let's get out there. Let's do it. So there you go. There's a little What's in the Bag by James. Really, really interesting when you start looking at these pros golf bags that when you talk about shafts and different things like that, it comes down to a lot of it just purely based on feel and what James wants to feel from those golf clubs in his golf bag. Let me know, put your comments down below. Have you got something similar to what James has got? Have you got clubs in your bag like James has with that pitching wedge where he probably thinks he's maybe made a bit of a mistake there? I'd like to hear what you have to say. Remember, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing, and as always, stay safe. I look forward to catching up with you again soon.